Do you remember how you felt when you first learned about global warming? For me, it was pretty overwhelming. I mean, sure, we can walk to school and we can recycle our egg cartons, but uh, I didn't really think that was going to make much of a difference. Well, apparently I needed to invent something which would stop emissions without costing anything, and as ambitious as I was, I didn't really think that was going to happen. So 10 years later, I find myself in my second year at uni. I know I like electrical engineering, but I don't really know what to do with it, and I'm struggling to find the opportunities to work out what. After a lucky conversation, I'm catapulted into the world of Australia's energy transition. <laughs> it turns out we have the solutions to take out some of our biggest polluters, our coal-fired electricity generation, and it turns out a lot of those solutions are actually pretty cheap. Don't get me wrong, we need to completely reform the electricity system before we can just turn off the coal. But perhaps instead of one genius idea, we need a whole lot of people working at the very solvable problems that we face. So that's what I decided to do. And so far, studying low carbon power systems is really great, it's super fun, really interesting. But from what I'm reading, we don't have enough people to address all these issues. Just like the breadth of challenges we face, we need a whole range of people creating the solutions. And right now, they're doing other things. I mean, fair enough. I was three years into uni and I still didn't think, like, know that this was a career option. But when the proportion of jobs in the energy sector is expected to have a threefold increase in the next 40 years, that's an issue. The skill shortage is already here. And any plan to reach net zero must consider how we find the people to do so. These graphs by Net Zero Australia show the expected increase in jobs for each type of technology under a range of projected pathways to net zero. You'll notice that the jobs lost under coal and gas can hardly compare to the need in green technology under every single scenario and will be competing internationally. The Waddle Fellowship challenged me once again to think about what real impact I can make. Even if I do make an amazing engineer, I'm still just one person and we clearly need lots. <laughs> Inspired by the work of my Waddle peers, it occurred to me that empowering many students to apply their skills for the energy transition is one of the most uh, critical things that we can do at this stage. So, how do we get people interested in renewable energy? Well, from what I understand of engineering students, they like to build stuff. Surprise! We've got a team building a racing car, a satellite, even a mind-controlled wheelchair, but nothing in renewable energy. The Clean Energy Council suggests we just need to increase the visibility of jobs in clean energy to address this issue, and second-year uni student me really needed something like that. Thus, my Waddle Action Plan forms the Students in Renewable Energy, or SIA, 16 students coming from chemical, electrical, and mechanical engineering, as well as your token law and commerce students, <laughs> are building on their still skills and knowledge through fun hands-on projects. We have teams building a portable solar phone charger, a wind turbine, and an electrolyzer. In the end, we want to create a model renewable energy hub which can be used to communicate some of the challenges and opportunities of the energy transition to students of all ages. Thanks to our dedicated team leads, all three projects are now in their prototyping stage. We've been grateful for the, for the support of the Waddle Fellowship and a number of academics, including Dr. Medi, who helped organise uh, for us to deliver a workshop to over 60 primary school students. We are currently receiving expressions of interest for a competitive offshore wind team, and we're looking into organising some industry events and some site visits. Through our social media, we've reached hundreds of people, and we want to make every single one of them feel like they can understand and facilitate this epic change in Australia's energy system. We are coming into a time where finding talent will make or break the energy transition. Companies who succeed will be those who can find the people to make change happen. So if you're interested in getting involved or want to learn more, please come talk to me or send me an email. Thank you.